going to review the Lemook Professional Nail Care Nail Foil Transfer Glue. Now, I ordered these a couple of days ago and the funny thing is I ordered these thinking that they will stick just on a clear top coat. But I was completely wrong. Um, this nail foil transfer glue is uh, white. I'm going to show you guys. I was a bit skeptical about ordering this just because I didn't really know how to use it and it was super white. So if I'm going to use this on my nails, how am I supposed to get rid of the white color? So it doesn't really come with instructions. It just says the label here, but there's zero instructions or whatsoever. It doesn't even come with a box or anything. So I'm not really 100% sure how to use this. So this is what I did earlier. For these two, I used this glue. Um, this is a universe design from this um, set. Problem that I'm having with this is that it gets difficult to stick. I mean, the rest of the parts, they're completely okay. So I guess it's not because of the glue. But as you get to the tip of the nail, it just doesn't stick. The glue is just not enough to make the transfer foil stick. But I had the same problem with uh, chrome powders. They also don't stick. And as I don't know if you can see, but right here, there's this piece of fiber from, I don't know, maybe my towel or my blanket. Uh, I already topped this off with no wipe top coat. So there's no sticky layer from the gel top coat. Like I said, on the tip, the transfer foil doesn't really stick but i can definitely feel some residue from this one from the nail foil transfer glue so the rest they're completely okay but once you get to the tip uh, i can definitely feel something a bit sticky there it's not super sticky but i can feel that something is not dry there but something there needs to dry i can feel it so, okay, another problem that I can see with this, and hopefully you can see, is, um, I don't know if you can see, but inside there are wrinkles. If you apply too much of this, um, I have seen from a video before that you're supposed to put two layers of the nail transfer glue, and that is going to make your transfer foil stick perfectly. And that is what I did with this. But as you can see, I mean, hopefully you can see but it looks wrinkly inside i already put top coat on so you can't really see but it's a bit wrinkly and that that's actually the brush strokes from the nail transfer glue that you can see it's not really wrinkles but yeah it it looks like that it's not 100 percent smooth but on my universe design i also used two coats for this but it looks smooth so i mean i'm not really sure how easy it is to use for beginners i'm also a beginner when it comes to nail transfer foils but i'm having kind of a difficulty so on this nail i have just a baby blue and then topped it with a matte top coat you don't really have to coat it with a matte top coat but i thought i was gonna leave it like this but i decided to do this video so yeah it works better with foils with transfer foils that looks like this that are not um, metallic like these um, I mean obviously you can see here how smooth the universe is so I am just gonna do I guess we're gonna do a marble design on this nail let's open this up and see what we can get from this I haven't opened these so it's my first time to see what kind of color we're gonna get so I have a blue base on so I guess we're gonna go for a blue one too. Oh, there's also universe there. Uh, wait. Yeah, I guess we're gonna go for the universe one since this is blue. The great thing about nail transfer foils is that you can choose which part or pattern you want from the strip. So I'm just taking a good look at this and see what I want for my nails. I think I want this part. Wow. Look at that. And okay, I'm gonna show you guys now how to use this. I'm just gonna apply first a thin layer. Actually, for this nail, I'm gonna do one layer only. But I'm gonna put like a good amount. Not too much. You're not gonna want to overdo this. I don't think that two layers is good. 
but still it depends on what brand you're using but for this one i i don't know like personally i don't recommend two layers because if you brush it i don't know hopefully you can see but it leaves brush strokes as you can see and that is what gave my foil nail the wrinkly effect and it's not a good look also i think the f the metallic foil is also a bit translucent as compared to these universe and marble designs as i'm taking my time to apply this i can feel that the glue is starting to set on its own even without the uv light so i'm really not sure if i'm supposed to let this dry with a uv light so this is the ad of the Lemook Professional Nail Care Nail Foil Transfer Glue. I'm going to show you guys the instructions. It says here, apply a layer of nail foil transfer glue and then wait for it to become clear. I actually did it differently on this video because I used a UV light to dry up the glue. I thought it's how you're supposed to use it, but I heard from other people that you can use this without a uv light but i also heard from other people that uv light speeds up the process of drying so just do what you feel like works for you actually both method works for me so just follow what's comfortable for you so right now i am just trying to make it even because i don't want this to look um patchy oh so here here is how the glue looks like after applying. As you can see, it's not completely transparent. Now I'm going to get my, my UV lamp and let it dry first um, right here. So I used a UV lamp for this. So I guess I'm going to have to just follow the exact same process. Um, by the way, the UV light that I'm using is from the brand Bevili. Um, this is the one that I've been using. I just got my sun uv lamp my i think it's lead i'm not sure but um this one works for if you're doing like one finger if you're working with one finger only this is fine so i'm just gonna cure this for one minute and then i will be right back okay so here you go this is how it looks like after okay i'm gonna have to get rid of this hand i'm not gonna squeeze it just right on my hand so this is how it looks like after curing under the uv light and as you can see it already looks kind of transparent it's not yet 100 percent clear but i heard that if the color is still white it means it's not yet completely cured so now um you can also feel it yeah it's still it feels sticky it feels like as if you're touching like a double-sided adhesive that's um it's very similar to what it feels like but i'm just gonna put this for another 30 seconds just to make sure it's completely cured and ready to transfer the foil on it uh yeah i'm actually really excited every time i do this uh i'm gonna have to get the the gel version of the nail transfer glue i don't Honestly, I don't like this. If there's a clear glue, I think I would like it more. And something that really flattens on its own. Because this one, like I said, leaves brush strokes. And the great thing about gels um, is that they level on its own. They self-level. self, they self -level. So I'm looking for a nail transfer glue that levels on its own. Alright, here we go. We're now going to take this part. Okay, this, is, this part is a bit tricky. So you have to press it on the center first. Otherwise, it's going to look really wrinkly. So you have to start one area at a time. It doesn't really expand. So all you have to do is to slowly press with your finger and get the shape of your nail. And you don't want bubbles inside because it's going to like create wrinkles and it's not going to be a smooth application. So starting from the outside, pressing it just to make sure there's no bubbles. Like I said, the bubbles will look like wrinkles and it's also going to look uneven on your nail. But if it ever happens, I have a solution for that. I'm just going to press this with my finger and there's actually a tool. See? See that? That? doesn't look cute and you can't even pull this anymore because the nail has already sticked on the nail transfer glue so as you can see i have bubbles there but i'm still trying to get rid of it 
by scratching with my nail. Oh, no, no, no. All right. So we're just going to go with it. I'm going to show you guys how to fix it if it ever happens to you. So here I'm just getting the shape of my nails. I'm also using my nails to kind of press the sides. Like this. And also on my cuticle area. Because I also applied glue there. And then here, don't forget these parts. And then just make sure that you get every corner covered with the um, transfer foil. It's not perfect on this side as you can see. But I was able to make it stick on most of the areas. But it's not going to look perfect. I know already it's not going to look perfect on the tip. Because I have wrinkles there. So I'm just going to press this. And I'm always struggling with the tip of my nails. So hopefully it sticks there. So I'm just gonna make sure to press this all in. Are you guys ready for this? Okay, one, two, three. Oh my gosh. See? Like I said, it's not really that perfect. As you can see right here, and here, these are the parts where the transfer foil didn't stick because that's where I created the wrinkles. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to that part that I missed. So right here, this little spot right here. I'm just going to stick it again where I missed it. And then you're going to see that it's going to stick right away. So it's actually very easy to be honest it's actually very easy it's just that the glue is it's just that i'm struggling to use the glue so there you go i was able to fix the design it just looks like as if i didn't make a mistake at all so i have this extra part right here all you gotta do is to just remove it with your nail and then for this spot <sighs> Alright, so I'm just going to do the same on this side right here. There's this little spot here that I missed. I'm just going to look for the design again. I guess it's this one. Okay, I'm trying to press it. Okay, one, two. Okay, there you go. See, I was able to fix the design. It's actually really easy to use and foils are really fun to use. It's just that, like I said, the glue that I'm using is not really a good one. Or I'm just using it wrong. I'm not really sure. I mean, if I'm struggling, there's definitely something wrong with the product. Or I just don't know how to use. There are only two options. So I'm just going to go back over the spots that I missed. It's just so nice that you can't even see my mistake after you go over the design. And that's why I like using foils lately. And then right here, I have one last spot that I missed right here. Oh, one last spot. And I know I got it. Okay, there you go. This is my nail transfer foil. And this is the design that I made. So sometimes before I put top coat, I make sure to press the design because sometimes there's a little bit of lifting, um, some bumps. If you ever see some bumps, you can press them and they will flatten so easily. So that's just what I'm doing right now. Okay, just gonna make sure it's flat and even. Okay, so I'm just gonna put top coat and then I will be right back. Alright, so this is how it looks like once it's completely cured. As you can see, it looks so much better as compared to when I haven't applied my top coat yet. But I still think it looks absolutely beautiful. I just scratched this part off, that little tiny white spot there. 
But overall, I think it's a beautiful design. Ooh, I love universe design. Here are my two nails using transfer foils. So that is it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this review. If you guys have any recommendations for a really good nail foil transfer glue that dries completely clear and leaves a really smooth finish, let me know in the comment section down below. I'm really interested. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys again next time.